Temper waters allow us to raise a variety of crops, and growing fresh greens allow us to raise hardy chocobos in turn. Cool. Chocobo husbandry for the fledgling breeder. Right. There's nothing even. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say there's nothing even in this pen. I was like, oh fuck, the stairs are derp. Why chocobo nursery B1? Anything down here? Oh, as I say, the black chocobo. Being a variety of recent discovery, resembling its fair feathered cousins, save for its sampled plumage. Okay. Chocobos are cute with their little stinky, though. Oh, man. I want to fly in a black chocobo, but they always get mad when I try to get close. I don't think they like me. Probably not. Probably never encountered one of those before. Hey, black chocobos, them flyers. Those ones here are farm raised. They can't fly like the ferals. Find one and find one over the wild. Find one over the wild ones up in the woods up north, though, and you'll see it's a sight to behold. Black chocobo in flight. Not the highest of flyers, but they get around. Even seen see them down here on occasion. Here they only land in the woods, though. Oh, sweet! I can just totally walk around here and go uh, talk to the chocobos. Quick, quick! I'm not doing that twice. Black chocobos always remember their way home and return straight there after any journey. They're a very high-strung temperament, though, and will run away the moment they're back home. Good to know. Oh, that was pointless. It's a random, just bl blank doorway. I don't even understand what the logic behind that would actually be, but sure, whatever. Anyway, actually, uh, nothing important there. But technically, if you're playing this for the first time, that's actually extremely important information. So uh, keep that in mind. As you will probably uh, soon find out. Where the fuck is the pathway? I want to get out of here. As you will soon find out how just how important that is. Oh, big guy. Oh, shit. I don't want to go to work tomorrow. When you guys should fly up here and go to work for me. Let's just save real quick since I don't even remember what the hell I was doing. God damn it. Come on. Stupid. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Are you really sure you want to do this? Yes. Are you absolutely positively sure you want to do this? Yes. What the fuck? I can't even walk up these stairs. Random as hell. Hey, look at this. Hey, all travelers, and welcome to Troya. May you find rest and rest, respite within our walls. I don't even know what that fuck that word means, so I'm not even going to pretend I do. <laughs> You wish to speak of the crystal, then you will need to seek audience with the epop, ep, epops, inside the castle proper. Every time I've seen that word, I've never known how to say it. The epops, pops, the epops, the epops. I don't know, fuck I care. Are solemn servants of the divine. Conduct yourself with the utmost respect in their presence. Sure, I'll just go right ahead and do that. A survivor of the assault on Damasian was found washed upon the shore. He is recovering within the castle. The man claims to be a prince, although it's not something I'm inclined to believe. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Troy has never known war. We are we are peaceful people. That's what you think. If it came to arms, I'm not sure we would be able to fully defend ourselves. Yeah, that means you're all fucking useless as shit. Baron's aggressions broaden, yes, but surely they will not spread this far. If you have a crystal, they will. You think you can trust my word on that? Alright, where am I going? So it's definitely somebody very important we need to uh, find in here as well. Infirmary. Please mind your voice as an injured man rests within. Ah, uh, yes, our good old buddy. Prince Edward is bedridden. You mustn't make him exert himself. He, is, he had a fragile constitution to begin with, and now he's weakened even more. What's up, buddy? Edward! Cecil, so you survived too. You cannot know how I've worried. I, I must fight by your side again. Yeah, I'm good. You can just stay right there, bud. Fight? Fight to stay on your feet. Perhaps don't be a fool. You need to rest and recover. Tell her you are well, then. Please accept my apologies for what happened to to Anna. She died because because of me. Dot, dot, dot. Know that I am truly... <coughs> Edward, you mustn't strain yourself to speak. And you're alive too. What? What of Rydia? Dot dot dot. I could not save her. I see the poor child. Forgive me, all of you are fighting, but I lie in bed. Don't you worry. Me and Enterprise are taking up the slack. I hear you risked your neck for Cecil and Rosa. Now it's my turn. Usually things all sit for a while. You said that you escaped with an airship. Wait, Cecil, what's become of Rosa? 
She remains captive. They've demanded Troya's Earth Crystal in exchange for her life, but the crystal is already gone, stolen by a dark elf. A dark... How do we already... How do you know that already? God damn it. Skipping ahead. A dark elf, you say? Cecil, I want you to have this. What is it? The only way that I can accompany you now, please carry it with you. Tamed Whisperweed. Cecil, you must save Rosa. Cecil, you must save. Yeah, okay, I get it. I think this is harp. It's harp rest on the floor. Just totally steal it and just sell it for booze money. He ain't gonna need it. He's fucking useless. He better off just hiding the whole time. I'm gonna take a swig of pop because I'm thirsty. Oh, that's good. Oh, okay. I'm good to go. Of course, now, for some reason, we already know what's the storyline, even though we haven't actually talked to the people yet. Go figure. <laughs> Gotta love skipping ahead, right? Uh, Troy is sovereign and... So, sovereign... I know how to say that word, but I'm fucking it up right now. I don't care. And independence are safeguarded by her mothers and daughters. Even we soldiers are all women. Oh, there's the... Yeah. <laughs> Let's just hurry up. I don't know if this is... Whoa. It's got a big shiver down my spine again. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um. Anyway. I was saying. Fuck. Fuck me. Um. I don't even know what the hell I was saying now. I'm just kind of going like, um, um, I don't know, um. Hum de dum. Yeah, what a great prison. There's a wall in the door. This was once our dungeon, but now it, it serves now as a storage vault for our treasures that can allow you inside, but only with the epops, ep epitops leave. Ma, you're an honest one. Yeah, that's that's great. You can see a little crack in the wall there where all the shit is. <laughs> yeah, so we can't even go down there yet. And no, you can't lie to them. She doesn't trust you if you if you, if you say otherwise. So don't even bother. <laughs> okay, I don't know if there's anything down here. I don't even know if there's anything else in the castle we can do just yet. But I'm going to check anyway. Holy shit! Okay, I guess there's chests I can rob. I can rob everybody. Just robbing the place, because that's what we do. That's what good heroes do. We rob all the things. Ether. Ether. More ethers. I'm pretty sure it's ether. I don't remember. Another ruby ring. Oh, great. More ruby rings. That's just fucking amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. May I have another? I don't think this, yeah, this, you can definitely see that wall. Actually, if you notice with the angle it just showed there, they don't even bother rendering out the wall, even if it's actually there. <laughs> Seems kind of stupid. Oh, there you go. So there's a bunch of items there you can go and rob. I don't know what's down here, though. Might just be the central area. Troya Castle B1 or Bacchus Wine. There's no wall I can... Actually, look... Oh, wow. My guy... Look at that. He's, like, glitching into the wall. That's why I thought there might have been something there. Definitely doesn't appear to be anything here, though, does it? All good heroes do. I am mashing the A button. All right, so all I was there was a back of swine. That's uh, that's just great. Okay, let's just continue on to the, the E pop's room. I'm just gonna call him E pop. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call him from now on because I don't know how to say that stupid word properly, and I'm gonna embarrass myself trying. So uh, let's just head up here. What do you guys say? Do not speak to me as if I were some common grandmother. I am Troy's lady chancellor. The E pops you find in the chamber behind us. Oh, there's the chick I was talking about. Dance for you? How dare you? I'm a shield maiden of the Epops, not some two guild performer. <laughs> I may not look it, but this is actually our battle uniform. It affords little protection, but does provide mobility, and it's fashionable. It's fabulous. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Eight are the Epops, sisters and sisters all, stewards of the crystal from times immemorial. We are better ruled by women who know grace and civility than by men with their bar barbarous ways and love of war. Yeah. I'm not even going to comment on that. All I'm going to say is just uh, YouTube Drew Carey, women in charge of the world joke, and that's pretty much all that needs to be said. You came to speak of the Earth Crystal, then you came too late, I'm afraid. It has been stolen by a dark elf and it now grows weaker by the day. Yeah, seriously, go YouTube Drew Carey if women ruled the world joke. And uh, he pretty much says it, pretty much how you all you need to know. Should you enter the Lowstone Cavern to the northeast with any metal weapons or armor, the magnetic field will render you nearly immobile. The Dark Elf who stole the crystal dwells in a cave on an island to the northeast. 
Without the Earth Crystal's boon, this land of plenty will soon revert to a barren wasteland. Dark Elves are extremely vulnerable to weapons forged of metal. The one who stole the crystal has turned the walls of his cave into lodestone, erecting a powerful magnetic field as a means of protection. Retrieve the crystal for us, and we will allow you to bore it, but we ask that you bring it before us first. Yeah, I'll get right on that. We cannot give you the Earth Crystal, but we can lend it to you for a time. Of course, you will need to recover it first. Oh, yeah, of course. We ape, we pops are the rulers of Troya. Our land has always been blessed by the Earth Crystal's bounty, but now the crystal is gone, and I fear for our future. Maybe if you had some, you know, actual warriors. Then this might not be a problem. It seems really silly that these crystal rooms are not, like, guarded a little better than they are. <laughs> They're just like completely wide open and it's just like her to der. So uh yeah, whatever. Anyway, so that's the story on that. So uh, I think we should just continue on and go uh Oh wow, I'm yawning a lot right now. God damn, I need to stop doing that. I should start drinking some sugar. <laughs> I could always eat some Doritos, I know I might even have some of these cookies. I got fucking cookies, I got Doritos, I got goldfish, I got some pop, man, I got I got the works. Okay, anyway. I'm not going to even try and anti-spoiler this, but seriously, fucking talk to Edward. If you don't talk to Edward, you are screwed in the next section. Don't even just, don't even try it. Oh, God damn it! That is not what I wanted to do. Get the fuck out of here. So, uh, anyway. <sighs> damn it. Took like three steps, I'm already in a battle. Just, just fucking auto-battle, I don't even care. You pretty much kill everything in as, as quickly as you need to. Yay, flame claws. Teller's gonna do like nothing. At least it gives decent experience, I guess. So that's uh that's alright. Anyway. Like uh like they said earlier where the fuck am I is the thing? Oh there it is. Need to find a chocobo forest. Or chocobo village, whatever. Close enough. Yeah, I don't care about the fat chocobo, let's just go up here. Ah, uh, look at the black chocobo. I think there's a white one here that can heal all my crap. Got you, white chocobo! MP restored. Sweet. I don't think there's anything else up here, though. She, oh, well. I fucking guess you'll agree. <laughs> I was just, like, wandering around, and then I happened to... I couldn't... I was hit, like, a, a lump where I couldn't move. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess there's an item here. Never mind, then. Anyway, let's get the black chocobo. That's what we need. Got you, black chocobo! These guys are cool. I honestly don't remember. I mean, I suppose that one room sort of gives you the hints if you are able to pick up the the subtleness of it. But because uh, they basically tell you, oh yeah, black chocobos can fly or whatever, and they can go over over water and, and whatnot. So, but uh, basically, you need to go over here. This is the uh, the next section of the game. This is the cave they were talking about, and this chocobo doesn't run away the second you land, thankfully. Because, uh, technically you are on an island, and it, as they said, Black Chocobos run away the second they return back to their, their home, which means the main continent that they were from. So they're actually quite useful. So I'm gonna save real quick, and I'm gonna head in. The magnetic field in this cave is unbelievable! Better remove all our metal armor and weapons if we want to be able to move in here. My claws don't seem to be affected, and we have my magic as well, there's nothing to fear. Yes, unfortunately. Basically, the good way to check if your guys are stunned is to look in here, and you can see the little lightning bolts are next to your characters. That basically means if uh, if you have metal on, well, that that basically tells you I need to remove the shield. So do not, I swear to God, do not go do not go into a battle with metal on. If you if every single character has metal on, you will literally have an auto game over. So I'm just telling you that right now. So Sid's okay. So I gotta take off all the metal weapons. That's why I bought the fire shard, because all his weapons are metal. Look at that fucking thing, man. That just looks so stupid. Yeah, I can't actually have this at all. So, let's just hold it. I think the wizard has my best bet. Yeah. Actually, the Kempo G is fine, and I need. Gauntlets are metal, so I need the ruby ring. Let's just go to the next. What does he... Uh, silver armor, that's right. Can't have that, or the iron, so all gotta be ruby rings. And his claws are good. I need to change that for a ruby ring, so they should be good now. Yeah, no lightning bolts. Alright, so we're good. 
Oh shit, this is over actually over an hour. You know, I'm gonna stop this real quick actually and just render this, let this render out, and then I'll start right back up right after. So I'll be back in a second.